Using RS Logic's 5000 software, this video will show how to create a simple program to demonstrate how to name tags using an alias, assign it to a base tag, download it to the PLC, and verify that this simple one line program works. We've already started with a base program. You'll see we have a line zero with a input and we have an output which are unnamed and un undesignated at this point. I'm going to demonstrate for you how to set up a controller base tag which will be global and be able to be seen by other uh, systems or other components within the system. So we'll come here and double click controller tags. You'll see that the window has opened up for all of the tags that exist within this program. Um, we're going to create new so we have to come down here and edit tags. Use the bar, pull down to the bottom and you see a block where we're able to now create our new tags. So I will create this first one and call it the green button and I just simply type that in. Now we come over for the alias for that because now we have to assign it to a memory location. So we know that our uh, push buttons are in local, slot 2, input. So you have to scroll down and find that. Here it is, local 2, I for input double or click on the plus sign to open up below and now we look for data we click on data you'll notice a little drop down key comes in we'll push that there's our bit level and we know that the button I'm after is on bit zero so I come over and I select that so now I have designated my local name green button I've designated it to the bit level uh, come down and use the slider bar and come across and for description I'll just type in simply green button that's fine and then I'll come over some more and I will change my status to a binary instead of a decimal. And that's it. I've set up my tag on a global basis I'm going to create for the, the button. Part for the output, which I'm going to call green light. I've already typed that in here. I'll come over to my description block. And again, you have a fairly large size block. You can enter in whatever you wish. So I've called it that. I will come over here. I'm going to again change my status to binary. And I see that the one above is back to decimal. So I'll again change that to binary. And I then have to tie my green light to a memory address. And I know I have to come down to local zero output so I click the plus sign I come down to data I'm going to pick bit zero that should be all that I need I've set up my green button and I've set up my green light I can now go to the main program line I click that and so now you see we have our two-line program. I'm going to enter. At this point, I double-click the question mark, bring down the drop-down screen, and I simply look for my labels. There's my button. I simply double-click, and it has brought all the data and the addresses into my location. I come over to my output, double click the question mark, 
again, I scroll down and I look for my output, which I call green light. Double click it. When I click out in the body, you can see now it has populated both my input button and my output green light. So now we've verified that we have our green button for input. We have our green light for output set up. We'll verify the routine with no warnings. Verify the project with no... So we will download to the PLC. And you just walk through the screens as you go. Now I will go from remote run to Okay, so we're verifying that the program, simple, simple single line program is working. When we push button one, light one comes on. And there it is, it's working.